Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play DMC Devil May Cry. Oh yeah, complete the campaign on any difficult to unlock Virgil's Bloody Palace. They really went above and beyond in the Definitive Edition uh, to give Virgil his very own Bloody Palace mode that was not there in the original. I killed her. And you are stronger now. Isn't that what you always wanted? Power. Absolute power, Virgil. You are a son of Sparta. Become the son of Sparta. Welcome to hell, brother. I don't have a brother anymore. Cute. You know, I was the one running away, living in the slums. You enjoyed a comfortable life. Look who's on top now. You don't belong anywhere. Guess that's why you're here. Well, that and because I killed you. <laughs> I'm liking the new look. Fuck yeah. Hey, up here. So continuing our trend from the previous two uh, missions, in Virgil's downfall. In mission three, we're gonna be getting not just one new thing actually, but uh, a few new things starting in this arena uh, coming up here. Yeah, demon mode for Yamato. Uh, so Volcano is all right. I think the divorce combo is really pathetic. All it's therefore is to break the guards of the Death Knights, and that's underwhelming. It's not all that flashy. Uh, I'm not as thrilled with the demon mode moveset. Uh, the rest, aside from divorce, is fine, but it's not as spectacular or as fun to use as the angel mode. I'm happy they work Killer B in, though, uh, even though it in the context, it makes a little bit less sense. It's still fine. Uh, I'm just happy to have it here. Oh, almost fell into that. I'm coming. I'm cutting that way too close. <laughs> I'm not going to stop doing it. <laughs> doing it, but just recognizing that I'm cutting it a tiny bit close on those. Uh, I also picked enemy step up because Virgil's got... Let me try that without marbles in my mouth. Because Virgil's got uh, a lot of really strong jump cancel potential. It's quite easy for him. Uh, they, I don't necessarily think they made the window for jump canceling bigger, but... Uh, it's just by nature of the way the active frames on his moves work. That's just... You get a lot more leeway with that. I thought I had, like, maybe a split second more. To, uh, to Trickster Dash out of the way of that. Ooh, I hate landing on attacks. And... Let's see if we can get that correct. Got caught by that two times in a row. Just never a good sign. Okay, at least when they are tapping, they can't really block. Ah, uh, but now they... Oh, no. Immediately proven wrong. And this is where divorce comes in. I just wish it was a little bit... I don't know. There is more of a flourish to it, or it was really anything else. Like I said, I think the rest of the moveset's fine. But I mean, for how limited it is, something that's something that that's uh, that bland 
really stands out like a sore thumb. Okay, so after getting that health cross, we'll continue back chasing down uh, the hollow version of uh, of Dante. I think it's because I expect fewer quips out of out of this version of Dante that when we do get them, they get like a nice sensible chuckle out of me. Where are you, Dante? Tends to catch you a little bit off guard, doesn't it? I don't think there's anything back the way we came. This is kind of neat. Uh, we have to make the ethereal buses corporeal with a, a summit sword. And that's kind of the new wrinkle they add to the platforming. Which tends to... Oh, I thought I saw something down here. Oh, well. It takes us back up. Uh, they tend to emphasize the platforming, I think, just a little bit more in Virgil's Downfall. But not to, like, an absurd degree, but every, every chapter kind of ends with a sequence like that. Do we have anything new yet? No, everything is still unknown. Stomp. Oh, I would love to get this. The follow-up to Drive. I think that's what really ties that one together. Give up, ah, here we go. Also, I'm pretty sure they repurposed this room from one of the early uh, Dante missions. Every now and then, like, they disguise it really well, but every now and then you can kind of see where they've, uh, they were able to cut a corner or two. Oops. Shouldn't have come down at that exact moment. Always gotta watch out for that. Which I'm, I'm, I tend to be pretty bad about when I'm LPing. Uh, is watching what's right beneath me. Well, that worked out well enough, but then got caught. I mean, that tends to happen. If this was... If that combo was a little bit more interactive, like if you could cancel it into other things that worked in a similar fashion to it, or, or something. Or if there was a... Uh, like a delayed version of that. Like a YY delay Y. Something ah, it's just it's missing something. Ah, uh, but here we go with this. This is something that we don't really even get a proper introduction to. Uh, so no, it's not Angel Trigger. It's not even really Devil Trigger, but it does use those pips that have appeared as of this arena below our health bar. Those are our Devil Trigger pips. Uh, for our new summon sword abilities, because it's just not Virgil without storm swords and on all the other summon sword powers, uh, and they use up our devil trigger. Where did he go? So yeah, we get Stop the running, Dante. the slightly underwhelming move set for uh, Yamato's demon form. But that's followed up with this new mechanic. And again, I think it really ties Virgil's playstyle together. Any lost souls around? Ah, I knew there was something out here. Oh, that's just a vital star. That doesn't even... These don't even count towards your completion percentage. Fairly sure I heard a lost soul somewhere. That's not a... That's not here, is it? No, I know I hear it, but I... 
Oh, you know what? It's around this corner. Because they say I don't feel like investigating too thoroughly. <laughs> and waste a whole bunch of time. Oh, that missed. I accidentally fat fingered the trigger. <laughs> uh, if that had hit, I would have played it off. And now, yeah, let's check this out. So we have the spiral swords, we can upgrade that. Uh, and now that that's unlocked, we also have access to the blistering swords and the storm swords upgrade. Hell yeah. Oh, that's good shit. Be getting those in due time, uh, along with probably stomp and a couple of more angel mode things. Something that I don't really love about the way the uh, the Ninja Theory DMC Devil May Cry upgrade system works. Actually, you know what? Nah, that I, I as I was saying, yeah, I realized that it's true of the other games as well. Uh, but because your style points or, or your style gauge is so heavily influenced by uh, raw damage per strike. Uh, what a lot of the upgrades are in this are just like, uh, you know, Drive Level 2 or whatever, uh, Divorce Level 2, and all those upgrades really do is add more damage to the hit, which pumps the style up a bunch. Uh, so you're often choosing between more damage for the style or new, or new moves. And I will pick new moves almost every time. Because that is just a way more fun way to play. Expanding that move set. And a lot of the time the new moves tend to be pretty devastating or enable some more devastating combos. Now, if the game was weighted more heavily in favor of variety, uh, there wouldn't be as much of a trade-off between, like, do I want to go for the style uh, rankings, or do I want to go for this variety of moveset? If it was weighted more evenly, then you would still be okay to get just get new moves instead of going for the damage upgrades. Because you would be introducing more variety in the combo. It's really just a small nitpick, though, in the long run, like in the grand scheme of things. Uh, so we're going to work our way up here. Oh, this is a really good environment. Coward. <laughs> oh, hey, we do have some stuff. Let's not get caught by the other one. Oh! <laughs> I kill her feet off the edge. The homing on that's kind of weird. At least we got both of them that time. It's nice. Good shit. Yeah, and some of the stuff you can do in the air is quite fun. There are times when it feels like it is half a... Well, actually it is. It is kind of half a move set. Uh, because you really don't get any stinger motions and you don't get any delay combos aside from uh, the vanilla Yamato. So yeah, it is a, a partially incomplete moveset. Uh, you do get a couple of charged things though. And of course, where you have charges, uh, you have just framing. Which is an advanced technique that I went over, uh, I think, earlier in the LP. Still trying to not treat this like a separate playthrough. Because <laughs> uh, I'm not uploading it that way. Ah, uh, nope. That's not quite what I wanted. I meant to do the full launch. Uh, but I only launched him. Didn't hold the button down. Now we get to the fun shit. So we're gonna summon some swords. Ooh, I thought I had hit the dodge in time. And I totally did not expect that to hit behind him for him to just wheel around like that. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, I have to be a little more, more careful. 
This is going astoundingly poorly for me. Oh, nice! The last hit actually caught the other Ravager. Uh, and that was a solid parry. Yeah, catching the other Ravager like that. So good. Plus, it sent him over the edge for the environmental kill. Uh, let's get this health cross, or this health cross fragment. Should be working on the next upgrade. I kinda lost track of how many I have. Seems you have nowhere to go. And yeah, each chapter ends with a sequence like this. Uh, in this case, this is the most enslaved Odyssey to the West visual sequence in the whole game. Like, it's a slightly more, uh, like, ethereal kind of dreamscape. But it's, it, it so looks like enslaved in this part. I boo this coming up. Oh, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Got a last comic line, Dante? Or are we all talked out? Good. No. Please don't. You don't need it anymore. I think that leaves you with blue balls a little bit. Uh, expecting another cool rival battle. But it does showcase a little bit of growth for Virgil's character. Uh, now then, do we have... Yes, I will pick Stomp up. Then we'll work on some of the Summon Sword stuff. That's going to do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Uh, let me pick up a Double Trigger Cross and we'll be good. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.